Cool kids. Did you miss me, cool kids? Yeah, I've been here. I've been making little shorts, man. Oh my goodness, them shorts. Woo! Look at the views on those. It might be the way to go. <laughs> yeah, I, I put in a little work for these videos. But, uh, man. So I grabbed this. I did a thing. I didn't pay 135 for it, but I did pay 90, uh, 90 bucks for it. 90 bucks. Yeah. But, uh, eh, what are you going to do? Probably overpaid. There's a little ding here, and I mean, it's clearly a details coin. But, uh, oh, hi, Eva. Come here, honey. Yeah, she heard the music. She knew what was up. She knew what's up. We got her trained. I don't even give her treats or nothing. I just pat her. Yeah. That's her pet. She said, pet me. Pet me and we're good. So Eva is the star of my videos. I do Finn videos. No one ever watches them. No one cares about Finn. They're like, forget that dog. Let me see the cat. So I now understand what people are talking about when they say cat videos. Um, I get it now. It all makes sense. It's uh, pretty interesting. So, why are we here today? Well, a couple things. One, I got a nice mail call. I don't want to get too deep into that because... You know, these are for the Silver Coins Around the World series. We'll do quick flashes, little flashes of fun to upcoming fun. You know, and I got all these um, back when silver was 17 something an ounce. So I got some nice prices on these. These are all cheaper than a generic buffalo, except for two of these coins. So I got all these coins, they're coins, they're actual coins, for less than you would pay for a buffalo, except for two. This one, that I already showed you, this is the Aphrodite, Aphrodite, which is Venus, if you're into the Roman. All right, so this is metal alignment. Okay, that's what's messing me up. It's a metal alignment coin. Um... Aphrodite, 36 bucks for that, $36.35 to be exact, and then this I paid stupid money for, but and it's made in Switzerland, but wait till you see this thing, it's really cool. So that's the, the obverse of the coin. This is a coin. It's from the Solomon Islands. Well, I mean, it's from Switzerland. But it's for the Solomon Islands, as you can see. There's the Queen's effigy. The Queen. Yeah, pretty cool. Anyway, that was 72 bucks. So, you know, <laughs> not cheap. Not cheap, but Solomon Islands wasn't going to be cheap anyway. anyway so, but the rest of these coins were like 24, 25 bucks. So, yeah, the rest of these are all coins and they're all the saints, all the saint countries. So that's really cool. And they're all made by Scottsdale Mint. Uh, thank goodness for Scottsdale's Mint on my silver coins around the world collection. Um... I mean, otherwise, some of these countries would be impossible to get coins from. I wish they would have done Eritrea, and uh, there's a few countries. Nigeria. I mean, I spent big money. Uh, Azerbaijan. Looking at you, Azerbaijan. Okay. Enough of that. 
this is a mail call video. And the mail call is from my old buddy Miguel from Facebook, who just happened to catch one of my videos uh, that I posted on Facebook and told me, well, my, um, I guess it's his niece, I want to say, was up from uh, where he's from, I'm not going to say where, in South America, and she had brought some coins from there. And he wanted to ha send some to me um, and have me make a video about him. I asked him all of this. And there's, uh, there's not a letter in the envelope, so, because I was going to read that to you guys. I'm just now opening the envelope. I'm doing it off camera, though, because I, I didn't know what was in the envelope. Um, but I've known Miguel for years. Uh, we used to play Facebook games together back when that was cool. And remember those old games? You could only play them on Facebook. Well, since then, Facebook has deleted my account, but I kept in touch with all the people I could. Uh, the algorithm would pop up suggestions. So I used to have uh, maxed out friends and all kinds of followers, like thousands and thousands of followers on Facebook. But then... Uh, I don't know, sometime in 2018 or 2019, I can't remember which year it was, <laughs> they decided to delete my account without any explanation. And uh, they did it to a bunch of people, thousands of people. Um, anyone who disagreed with their politics were deleted um, without cause. Um, there were thousands of accounts deleted. Um, you can look it up. There was a slight news coverage on it. I mean, it was a pretty big deal for those who, like me, who had thousands and thousands of followers who lost their accounts. Um, like I said, no reason given. Uh, one of my real life friends lost their account as well. So not just internet friends, but actual real, or well, I mean, everybody's real, but actual people I've met <laughs> lost their accounts. And there were tens of thousands of accounts deleted. Uh, it was the same time that uh, Paul Joseph Watson's account was deleted. And, um, oh, what's that guy's name? Uh, has the funny show. He dresses up like a genie and uh, asks questions. Uh, prove me wrong, that guy. Anyway, whatever his name is. Uh, Crowder. Crowder lost his account. Same time. <coughs> same day I lost mine. Now... I'm not some political extremist. I just believe in free speech. I know I said free speech. So I'll probably get gigged on this video. But uh, yeah, here's the coins. Let's uh, stay stay on point here. So yeah, I just believe in free speech. They don't like that. So this is Colombian. And uh, let's get uh, let me get you all the details. This is from the year 2008, clearly copper nickel, and pretty cool design on it. 200 pesos. Now this one appears to be bronze or copper. Could be zinc though. Could be nickel bronze. Could be a lot of things. It is from Brazil. In the year is 2009. Now, none of this is silver, I don't believe. I don't see any silver. And, uh, my eye is pretty keen to silver. <laughs> but, it's all amazing. Thank you, Miguel. Brazil, 50 centavos, 1994. And, uh, I actually like this design. It's a little modern, but it has some nice classical motifs to it so it's it's redeemable um yeah it's not bad it's not a bad design so i like what they're doing in brazil look at this again same thing we got a a bit of the actual artwork and then the modern elements and it actually so we've added geometry to what would be a you know, standard portrait. So actually, I think it's interesting. You guys seeing this? 
very interesting. Um, you know, Netherlands does this a lot, the same kind of thing. So if you're interested in this particular look on a coin and you think it's cool, check out Netherlands coins and apparently Brazilian coins. Now, the one main difficulty Mexico has with its coins, since they started putting portraits on them, is, well, <laughs> the subject matter, right? Because if you look at the Morales coins and the Hidalgo coins, I mean, they were not, they were not, they were beautiful men, but not in a cosmetic way. <laughs> 2017, 500 pesos. Damn inflation. This is from Chile, though. But I, I'm just saying, in the Latin world, a lot of <laughs> a lot of beautiful people, uh, men especially, the men, <laughs> the, their portraits aren't quite so pretty. I think that's all. I don't even think that's just the Latin world. I think that's, I mean, have you looked at Abraham Lincoln's mug? All right, this is cool. Really cool. Uh, Brazil again. So, Brazil, I like what you're doing with your coins. There's also a, that bimetallic deal. That's real popular. Uh, we saw it in those Turkish coins I got from uh, PMG. And uh, Mexico's been doing it for a while. Uh, that's that's their their thing. and um, I mean, it's, it's real popular, the bimetallic coins. So, I like this one. This one's cool. <clears throat> okay. So this is from 1984. It's 100 pesos in Chile. And so this this design goes way back on the Chilean coinage with the star and the shield. I actually have some coins from the 1860s with that exact same uh, banner or crest or whatever you would call it. Crest? That's the word I'm looking for. The only big difference is that one had a uh, this bird, but it was a different design and it was prominent. So that bird, <coughs> believe it or not, is an Indian condor, and it is the largest raptor in the world. Um, if I remember right, I don't think it's even close. I think I do believe it's the largest raptor on Earth. So there's a little fact for you. All right, and here's a bimetallic version of that same design. Um, I'm not sure what they added. I'm not sure if that's an alpaca or some kind of deer on the left of that. I could probably look into it. Um, let's see if we can get yeah a closer look here. There's a crown on the bird and the four-legged critter. Alright, this is a hundred Chilean pesos by metallic. Um, and there you go. Very Native American look there. Um, Inca, maybe? I'm just speculating. I have no idea who. Mapuche is. I'd have to look it up. And I do apologize to... Well, actually, it says here. Pueblo Originarios. And so that's definitely telling me we got Native American portrait going on here. But we already knew that just by looking at it. So I will have to look into who that was. Um, very cool the coin looks cool we got lots of cool coins left um, now this one I've seen before I knew it was Chilean I've seen this design your you know standard profile of a you know, he, he kind of reminds me of uh, Bolivar. 
Yeah, a lot of people like the, the really dressy uniform. I've noticed that. And not just in uh, Latin America. Um, if you look at Thai money, for example, from Thailand, you'll see a lot of that. 2013. 2013, so 10 pesos. We got a repeat here. But that's cool. It's a cool coin. I like these bimetallic coins. There are some silver ones from Mexico if you uh, get a chance. All right. Here's an interesting. Again, we're mixing in that geometry with the. classical style of artwork on the portrait and the star, but they're giving it a kind of a, you know, actually this is almost Soviet looking. Uh, this one. The design work on this, it, it reminds me of Soviet coins I've seen. Now that I'm really looking at it. 25 centavos, 2019. So this one is uh, another look at that portrait. Um, with the you know dress uniform. This is 50 pesos. So for all that's worth. And I don't know what the exchange rates on these coins are. I believe a peso is generally uh, between two cents and half of a cent each in a lot of these countries. So, you know, that might be a quarter. <laughs> um, Argentina, don't cry for me. Now, you know, they call it Argentina. I'm going to say this again. They call it Argentina for centavos. So this, is, this must be an older coin. 94, yep. Yep. So... Argentina has very few actual Argentum issues. So it's kind of a misnomer. Republic de Chile. Mexico should be called Argentina. Because that's where the, chil the silver is. Right? <laughs> but, you know, they name these places early on. And now this one's interesting. This is from Colombia. And it's still got, right? See that? So it's not heavily circulated. Um, they're doing that same thing Brazil's doing. You see that? With the geometry. Okay. Um, looks like a plant. And that has luster on it. So, could that be a headdress? I'm not sure what that is. It's, I'm, I, it says right here. Interesting. All right. Well, Miguel, thank you very much for the coins. They will never leave my collection. Um, and they will be treasured always. Anyone who uh, adds to the collection gets a video. Um, we, whether or not, you know, I'll ask you if you want your name mentioned, any of that. If you have a shout out, I'll give it to you. And uh, thanks again, Miguel, for your contribution. It will be treasured and enjoyed. And they are very cool coins. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, uh, like it, share it, subscribe, and uh, phone a friend about it. Peace out.